move, all right? Give me a nice burst. Set, go. You always grow up, you think, man, I would love to play at high school. And then you get to high school, you're like, man, I'd love to be that guy on TV on Saturdays. And then you're that guy, and then you're on Saturdays, you're like, oh, I can't wait to get to the NFL. Like, it'd be cool to be that guy. And now I'm at this point where I'm like getting ready for that, and it's just like, whoa, like you really do start accomplishing all your dreams. So I heard about Exos down here and did some research on it. My dad did a lot of research on it. There is no secrets to how we do this, right? If you if you train hard, um, you eat right and you get plenty of sleep and recovery, you're going to respond, you're going to do very well. So we try to not leave um, any stone unturned in this process. They give you the tools, they give you the keys, they give you the hints, they give you the techniques, and then the rest is up to your work. Either you're going to work at it or you're not. He likes keeping his shirt off all the time, so I think because his muscles are really built, I think he's probably gained, you know, five to seven pounds of muscle, and uh, his speed is picked up. I don't know how much he caught the ball at Auburn, but he has really soft hands. Go get it! <laughs> Good catch! Stay on that line! Nice! Carry on with your SEC player, offensive player of the year? You think you good, don't you? <laughs> Set, go! Nice! Get over there. There you go. We're gonna go to the classroom now. This is where the fun part might happen. We're we gonna do the speed defense. How fast can they draw? up the defense I tell them to draw. KJ, give me a bear defense. Ready, go! What? Hold on, start over. <laughs> I'm draw. I drew three yeah. techniques. Mike will be here, Sam will be outside technique at a tight end. Will and Jack go backside, so. In the classroom, he's very, very intelligent and very smart. He catches on really, really fast, probably. I put him behind DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray probably the smartest, carry on probably the second smartest I've had, which, which is a great compliment. Hey man, that's a good job. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. So what do you usually do during your breaks here? Uh, if, it, if, I don't have, uh, if I don't have position work, then I'll go home and get a little Xbox in and chill and hang out. <laughs> what are you doing, Kerryon? Xbox. Play a lot of Xbox. More Xbox than I'm supposed to play, according to my mom. I'm resting. I might as well rest and play Xbox at the same time. How many moves uh, did you learn from playing football video games? The spin move for sure. Spin move is deadly on this game. You like spin move on this game will juke the person in front of you and the two dudes after him. So spin move definitely came from this game. That's probably. That's probably the only one, though. So how many Auburn players currently are on your franchise team? I'm about to have two. I only got one right now, I think. Um, I got Devontae Lambert. I'm about to sign CJ, though, Uzama. So how weird is it going to be when you are in the Madden game? It's super weird. Like, it's gonna, like, it'd be less weird if I was on, like, NCAA or something, like, you know, but it's going to be weird to, like, see my own name. Like actually on the game that I play almost every day, like that's gonna be. I just hope I'm not sorry. If I'm like 60 overall, that'd be depressing. But it is what it is. It's just cool to be on the game, really. What would you rank yourself right now if you were a rookie in the game? I'd probably be a solid like 77. Yeah. 75. So anything below that, you're gonna be. Yeah. Anything. Problem. Anything below that, me and me and EA gonna have to fight. I don't ever think you can be fast enough, and I don't ever think you can be strong enough. So, uh, the thing, my, my biggest things have been working on maintaining lower body strength and getting more explosive, and also bulking up on the upper half, and um, just working on speed and, and being able to play fast. Uh, a lot of people can run fast, but playing fast is different. Let's look at starts from yesterday. Right there, you get it back down. So if you open up too much, that's where your fraction's gonna start to decrease your time. He's a coachable guy. He's one of the guys that you love to have because he's gonna show up every day and work hard. And uh, the coachable part is, is some things that guys don't possess. So when you're able to, to tell him, hey, make this small adjustment and on the next rep he's able to do that, that's really a pleasure to work with him. I'm doing pretty good actually. I still got some improvements by running my fastest times consistently, so that's the key is consistency. K 
carry on came in, you know, a credible athlete as he is, you know, so he's um, he's already at a very, very high level. I mean, he's very strong. His lower body is, is very strong. He's very powerful. I think he could play in the NFL as long as he wants to. I'm definitely ready for the combine. That, I mean, everybody's getting to a point where like we hear about it so much and it's getting so close, but it's not here. You're like, I'm ready to get through this thing. I'm ready to get it over. I'm ready to perform. You see me right now? This, this is about how I went. I mean, I can't fit any of my shirts anymore because of this lift, but it hurts. <laughs> it definitely hurts. What, what do you want to get across to teams, all teams, while you're here at the company? I just wanted them to know who I am. Um, you know, there's a lot of rumors that go around, oh, he's injury prone, oh, he's this, or oh, he's not fast, no, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just want them to get across, you know, they're getting a competitor. That's what I've always been. That's what I always will be. They're getting a guy who can do multiple things that does everything for his team, and that's what I want them to know. I talked to 11 or 12 of those teams. I mean, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Jets, Giants, I mean, Denver, San Francisco, just a bunch of teams. And um, so you go to the combine, you do the medicals, they check out your shoulders, okay, you pass, check mark. Now you see the drill work, he's got good feet, he's got good hands, check mark, check mark. But then they want to see the 40 time. Uh, so that, I think that was the last box to check. My work's done, now it's up to those guys. And I can't control what they think, I can't control what they see, what they want. Um, so it'd be useless to just sit around and think about it all day long, and it's not gonna come any faster. So uh, you just gotta wait. Now now the draft day, now that'll be, you know, when it gets to that late, late first, those last couple of picks of first and those, that second, then I'll be stressing. Uh, then that'll be a high tension time for me, because you don't know. You could be waiting that whole night and then you gotta wait a whole nother day, so that'll be a stressful time, but right now I'm just relaxed. I'm just enjoying it. We understand it comes down to what certain teams are looking for. Long shot, late first round, but more risk, realistic second, third. I would be honestly shocked if he went longer than that, but again, you never know. Wherever he's drafted, if he's drafted, I just want him to be happy. and. Um, Wherever he goes, if he gets chosen, we'll follow. That's pretty much it.